What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy WF Colonel coming at you from WF Madden, and um, today we're gonna do kind of another um, I guess, game film room, um, where we're gonna go over one of my games. I'm just gonna break down exactly what I'm thinking, exactly when I'm thinking it, when I'm playing this game. Now, I do want to give you guys some tips later, like more plays later, but we're gonna get into that. I have this gameplay is really um. A showing of my spread offense I, I'm debating on either this scheme or another scheme giving this completely to you guys for free but before the only thing I have to you know kind of holding me up is you know I just want to make sure it's perfect because there is like one aspect of the offense that one type of defense is giving me trouble so I want to make sure I have something more concrete to beat that before I just give it to you and you know have that thing you know just hound you guys too because it's something that you will see a whole lot online as well so i just don't want to just give you guys something that's not going to work against something that is going to be more popular as the year goes on so that's the only thing for me giving you you know the scheme already for free you know it, when i give it to you it's going to be super long super dope but you're going to really enjoy it but this game is going to be um i really like showing you guys this stuff because it really gets you guys into uh more of my mindset and you actually get to learn the thought process because people don't really teach thought process as much. And we're going to go off of my recent captures because, you know, I was not recording the game. So we're just going to go off of my captures. Uh, all right. And, um, yeah, this started off. Hopefully this man's name is blocked because, of course, we never want to, you know, you know, clout chase anything like that. So hopefully his name's blocked and I see it is. But, um... Yeah, it starts off at second and three. My first play, you know, got cut off. It was over five minutes. But um, we started off second and three. As you see, I'm in a gun empty tray. I really love this formation. It's a real old school formation. And I'm like, I've run this formation for years. That's, I love this formation. This used to be in so many playbooks back in the day in old Maddens. That's why I love it so much. But let's get into it. So I'm pretty much coming out and spread offense um, out of this formation. And as you see his last play, was a uh, cover four drop show two, and I ran strong flood, and I picked up um, seven yards. All right, so I'm coming out in strong flood again. Uh, let me see if I can zoom out. Uh, all right, so what I'm seeing here is I'm expecting another cover four drop show two, but he's really giving me a a lot of people in a lot of different places if you look and see where his corners are i can't really bomb him over the top because if he is in cover four drop show two then they'll go back and uh they'll play their guys if i come out in like four verts he'll have perfect defense for it if he is in cover four and so i feel like i believe i'm really really tentative in this and i come out and like attack at the the, the slots let's see what i do All right, so let's go back to my setup. And this is something that you guys will see. I know I'll break it down. But this is a very safe setup against uh, multiple defenses. So this is like, a, before I get in, I'm not going to break down exactly what beats what and everything. Because I'm going to break, break it down in the video. But this is a very safe setup that attacks cover two, cover three, cover attacks all the coverages. And um, it just gives you a nice outlet. So if you got a defense that you really aren't comfortable against, go for something that's a bread and butter. This is a bread and butter. It gets you, you know, really comfortable in, you know, what you want to run. And as I'm saying that, I threw dead ass at a, um, at a flat, but I was able to make the user catch. Click on to make the user catch and get the catch. So, I mean, it kind of was a dangerous throw, but it still is there if you click on and make the catch, which I know that because I've labbed it enough. If you click on, you can have room to make this catch. But obviously, it isn't the most optimal read in this play. But I was able to get the first down. First and 10. What defense was that? So, I know he's coming out in the cover two version. So, he, he will introduce his cover two, which is something that's really important in a... Uh, something that you will have to remember for later on in the game so i come out and cover four i mean um four verts you know seeing if you'll come out in that cover two again 
But again, he comes out in this ambiguous look. You don't really know what's happening with the defense. Let's see what I do. If I believe it's, if it's correct, I take a look at that corner on the right side of the field. If he is, I'm thinking I'm banking on him being in cover two again because he had kind of success from the last play. Because even though I did get a catch, did get a completion, did get a first down, he still was there. He still could have made a play. So most people go back to that same defense, thinking that would have just had that same play again. So I'm, I'm, if I believe this is the right play, I'm banking on him doing that, and I'm looking at the corner on the right side. If it is cover two, that's um. The fade to Goodwin's gonna be there. That is what I go to. Comes out in that cover two again, gives me that easy money pass. Um, I possession caught this. You may be saying, okay, if you rack caught it, it could be a potential touchdown, but I'm possession catching that 100 out of 100 times. I wanna make sure I secure that catch. I don't wanna risk stepping out of bounds and it not being a catch. So he come out in the same formation, same play, seeing what he does with it. I see his his corners are staying back. So I'm thinking about not checking to like a typical cover four, I mean a typical uh, four verts. What does he do? Corners are staying back. What do I do? I, I'm making adjustments. So what I'm seeing right here is I'm thinking about going to one of my, uh, another version of four verts, but I'm just thinking like, yo, that left slot He's there for the taking so I'm just gonna take the uncovered theory and so if you see one of my previous tips about the uncovered theory that's what I throw right here just to make sure he just he has to play this just making sure he has to you know know that I will attack all areas of the field so it's first and ten I get about a five yard gain and he knows I'm here he knows I'm here and I know that he's gonna leave that that the slots uncovered and that's what I get from that is I understand that he isn't just going to play a cover four. He isn't just going to play a cover two. He's going to blitz and leave them slots uncovered, which opens up a little bit more on the offense. So if you see what he's in right now, he's kind of in the same look as he was in last play, leaving the, the left slot a little bit uncovered. But since I'm on the left hash, I really can't do too much with that. The right hash, I still can do something with that, but let's see what I go. I don't remember exactly what I did. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is, since I'm seeing so much room on the left side of the field, I go to a variation of stick, the route combo stick. I take, I, again, I'm making sure you defend all areas of the field. You will not just think you have an easy showing. If you want to stick in like a cover three look or a cover four look, you will get stick on in your face the whole way up the drive. You have to go out the whole field. I'm not I'm not letting you off the hook. So what's he in right now? What am I seeing? What am I seeing? So he's pressing up again. So the, if, remember the last the only two vert ways he did this was he was running cover show drop show two with this look and he was running the uh, cover two look as well so that's what I'm thinking and I'm not necessarily sitting on you know the thought process of attacking the, okay he backed off his guys so now originally I was not thinking about attacking the uncovered theory to the right slot because the guys were pressed up now since they backed off that opens that option up for me and let's see if that's what I go to okay so He's playing games. He's playing games. He's giving you amb ambiguous looks. You don't know exactly what's going coming at you. He's, he's backing off, coming up, backing off, coming up. I go to a safe route. Give me my two baby hitches on the outside. Let me just give you a, a route with my tight end up the middle. So, so if you are using something, it gets your attention right away. But just, I'm really looking for my baby hitches. Take your easy baby hitch. Take your, what, six yards easy six yards the easiest six yards you could ever get I will see him right now he's pressing up again again he came out in a cover two I believe last play so I, I took notice of that he pressed up he's pitching his guys in so that's letting me know he's really thinking about blitzing he's really thinking about 
bringing his guy, especially the the guy with the X Factor logo off the left end, outside of my left tackle. I'm really thinking since he, you know, he uh, pinches guys like that, he's really gonna blitz him. But I can't attack the uncovered theory to the left side because that left uh, cornerbacks is where he is. So I'm thinking, okay, is it a cover two? If it is, let me go to a four vert. But let me see what I do. Go to a four vert. Again, but he gave me cover four drop show two. I kind of got lucky on that play. It was a bad throw as well, but he really baited me with his play call. He did a good job on this. I read it correctly as far as, you know, what my mindset was going for, but I didn't have any outlets. And I was too stupid and too lazy to put any of my outlets for if, you know, he did what he did. And there are outlets you can add to this offense with hot routes, but I was too stupid and lazy and I didn't do it. And I just left stock for averts and, you know, I just threw it anyway because, you know, I just really didn't want to take a sack. And then I just left it up in the air to hang. That's on me. But guess what? I, I know what was happening now. He comes out in the same look again. Same look. He pressed up. Pinches his um his um linebackers. Again, let me go back to the last one. Did he actually blitz? Because I don't actually remember. No, they didn't blitz. So this is the last play. The play we just looked at. They didn't blitz. And he used a cover with Clowney. He used a cover with Clowney. All right, so he just ran cover four, drop show two. I'm running stick on the left side. Like, you're going to have to play. You're going to have to play ball. You're not going to just sit in. You're not going to just sit in that. I'm forcing him to, to actually change his defense. Pressing up on his guys. What does he do? He's not as aggressive, so I go off a spacing look. Play the field, my guy. And my guy drops the ball. That was an easy catch. He drops the ball, though. All right. So, easy catch. He drops the ball, right? But I go to spacing. Let's go to this play art so you guys can see it. All right. Very basic play art. I put the guy on the, the right slot. Put him on a hitch. Do I go back to it? I don't show it again, do I? Yep, okay. Ah. Come on, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it. All right, so very basic version. It's a, a, a spacing concept. It's very similar to, it used to be a play in all the old school Maddens. Everybody, all the five wide receivers were on baby hitches for the most part. But this is just a variation. I want him to have to defend middle of the field, left slot, right slot. Very basic, very safe. The only thing that really boxes this is um cover two with um uh cover two hard flats and you have to kind of shade underneath or just cover two hard flats. But um again he hasn't shown me cover two hard flats, so this is a very safe throw. Very safe play. Pick your poison, should be a catch. He drops the ball. And our possession card, he drops the ball. So I say, okay, okay, enough. Cover two sink. I'm saying he's in cover two. Enough. Enough. We're going for. Where you where you coming out at? Pretty much the same basic spread concepts. Leaving the right slot uncovered. And your guy is not pressed. Give me that easy yardage. Give me that. Completion for a couple of yards gets him thinking, okay, you have to actually go at the right slot. That's an option now. What does he do? Presses up on his guys. And he's been in cover two. He's shown cover two a bunch. Especially the last couple of plays, he's been in cover two. Last play, he's in cover two. I'm banking he's in cover two again. Uh, especially putting hard flats to kind of take that away. So I'm coming out in cover four. Well, I'm coming out in, in that audible to cover four. I mean to a uh, four verts. I keep on saying cover four. I audible to four verts. Because look and see where that safety is. You're not getting a bump on the outside left player. The outside left player is on the numbers. He can't do anything if he's in cover two. He's not doing, he's literally just there. He's guarding air. 
in the safety, he's on the hash. He can't get over to the outside left, so just take that candy. Oh no, that's not, that's not what I go with. So, that is an option, and you will see later, second drive, what I go to. But, what I'm seeing right here is, let's go back to that play art. Alright, so I'm just in, I came out in, um, I didn't come out in the run, but I showed the run, but then I'm like, okay, let me run slants. But let me run like a safe route combo to the right side. I don't think you actually see this play out, play out yet, but I'm seeing, okay, if he does blitz his guys, his, his linebackers, that slant from the left starts getting right behind him. So that's why I go to that. Do I come out with a play art? Do I change the play? All right, so you see me put stick on the right side of the field, basic route combo, but I'm just looking for the left slot. I'm looking for Hill all the way. He blitzes his guys. Easy slant for a touchdown. All right. Let's go back to it. At this point, I pretty much knew I had him at this point, and this is pretty much like a quarter of a second after I took the snap. I'm staring Hill down. I'm just looking to see that linebacker that's kind of in the middle of the field. Does he fully rush? If yes, I'm taking that slant. Willis can't do anything because his positioning is already bad for him. And since it's not the older Maddens, he can't make a play on that ball whatsoever. Easy slant for a touchdown. Get it in. All right. So that is uh, my first drive. And now let's go to the uh, the second one. Recent captures, and I just got this game by the way. And uh, it starts off I recorded five minutes. I don't want to show the defense because he ends up scoring. He he played a very good game. His offense was really good. He ends up quitting after this drive, but I don't know why. But he uh he did great offensively. But I made him work for it. You know, I made him work for it. Got good information on what he wants to do. So if we went to another drive, I would have probably had way more success and made it work a little bit more for it. But he ends up scoring a touchdown. But I really just want to show my offense in this situation. If I go back to uh, under center spread. Alright. And this drive isn't as long. Under center spread. What's he coming out in? All right, so uh, don't share, don't share. All right. So here's what I'm seeing right now. Leaving right, right slot uncovered. That's what I'm noticing right away. But since he has the right slot uncovered, I'm thinking I can run to the ball, run the ball to the right side of the field. I just have to beat the uh, left end because normally the left end comes free. I just have to beat him. Hopefully I get a block on the linebacker to the left side of the screen on the left hash. Um, that's pretty much all I'm banking on. Then Bo was able to make something happen. Got an easy first down. Came out in cover one. He came out in cover one. Understand he came out in cover one. So there's the second play. All right, so under center spread, I'm on the right hash. I see the right, uh, the right, uh, da, 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 the right slots uncovered. So I just, I just checked or something to get him the ball uncovered. Oh, that's not it actually. What I checked to is stick to the left side of the field. It's first and ten. All right, so this is a makeshift play. So this, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this play, but it's just, I'm I'm pretty much looking to see, is the left outside um, corner, is he one-on-one? -on -one? If he's one-on-one, -on -one, I'm throwing to Harrison. Pretty much, it's a variation of stick. It's pretty similar to stick, same reads for the most part. 
but you know, look to see if I can get the ball to X. If not, I still have to check down in Y. If there is a cloud flat that's gonna take away the throw to X. I didn't like it, because he was in man coverage or he was in a soft squat. I didn't. I just didn't like. Look at the, the positioning of the the corner on the left side of the field. I didn't like it. Didn't trust it. I didn't think he got a good enough run off for the cut to make that an easy throw. But I know that baby hitch is there if he's in cover one, which I feel like he is in cover one. Baby hitch, low ball it. Take the easy completion. Keep the chains moving, or chains weren't moving. Get the easy yards. Keep the clock moving. This play, he's giving me that right slot, uncovered. Take it, easy candy. If I had someone that is not Ertz, as slow as dirt, that possibly goes for another 20 yards. So that's what you see right here. I take out Ertz and put Kittle. I'm debating who do I put, Walker or Kittle. I put Kittle there, because he's my fastest tight end. And then I come out in my play. So what do I see right here? I'm thinking running the ball again, but I'm also noticing what's happening with that left corner. Look and see where the left corner is. Left corner is on the numbers, pressed up. And... The safety, he is pretty much on the hash. But I'm seeing if I can get that runoff again. Cause I really want to see what defense he's in. I don't care about yardage. At this point, I want to see what defense he's in. And if he'll come, in that, come out in that again, he shows cover two. And I want to pause right here, guys. I literally took that play just to see what defense he was in. It was first down. I didn't, As long as I didn't necessarily lose yards on that run, I'm cool with whatever result happened. I'm cool with it because I just want to gather information. I'm at a critical point in the field. I've crossed over in his territory. I'm on the basic outskirts of field goal range for my kicker. I know I just need like four or five yards from that first down position and that's an easy field goal for me. And so I feel like I could get that five yards off of some baby hitches so let me see, let me gather information, and in the process, I still got two yards. And you see me go to four verts right away, praying he comes out in that same defense again. He did, he's on the corner, gives me that for the easy touchdown. He quits right after this. But, all right, uh, to do. So that came from just gathering information the whole game, especially that last play. Let's take a look one more time right after the snap. So I'm banking this on, I'm hoping it's cover two, because with this uh, with this play, I still have to forfeit and I have to check down to the RB receiver, the RB running back, which is really good. I like that check down a whole, whole lot. It's really good. But the ball snapped right here. I'm looking at X the whole way. I'm looking at X the whole way. I see he's clicked onto his corner. I'm ecstatic. What are you finna do on that corner? I think he's thinking that I'm going to take that uncovered throw to the left, which he isn't even uncovered. So I don't know why he's on his corner at all. He may have just got caught there. And I just see him take his steps to the inside. I see that safety, and I know whew, that's an easy touchdown. I'm throwing that no matter what. Because I know it's a cover two at this point, and that safety is nowhere there, and you've already stepped inside. You are not Faster than my outside receiver, which I believe is um is a 90 speed receiver. You're not getting I think that's Marvin Harrison, 90 speed. Marvin Harrison or 89 speed. Blunt is not fast as that. And you've already took false steps inside. You're not getting there. And see, I'm already my my arm's already back there. Past the into the outside. And pretty much at this point. Come on, get there. All right. All right. At this point, I'm debating. I see the circle. I'm debating, do I rack catch it or do I possession catch it? And I'm just hoping, man, because I'm going with the rack because I want to take that head off right now. I want to see if I, I'm trying to, like, position myself to, uh, to get to the inside and keep my feet in bounds because I click on and luckily I stay in. Get the easy touchdown. And for whatever reason, he quit right after this. I don't understand why his first offensive drive was very good, but he did indeed quit right after that. And I don't know how I lost access to the servers, but I did. But 
I hope hopefully this video was very you know informative for you guys man because a lot of people just give you plays but they don't actually take you through the thought process and what they were thinking play in and play out and it gets people make they just run plays brainlessly i just want you guys just to understand even if you don't run my schemes or run anything that i put out to actually think about what you're running think about what the defense is in that's the main idea of you know these film rooms i just want you guys just to understand completely what's going on and um yeah man if you like the video thumbs up it for your boy if you really liked it you know subscribe to me i really appreciate all my subscribers and yes i still am working on putting putting out a free scheme for you guys it will be super in depth as you see my stuff works and i will break it down extensively so you know what to look for what to check to you know what hots you can throw you know what are safe runs just for gathering information I just want to, you know, add as much stuff for you guys as possible so you guys can become, you know, better Madden players. I want all of you guys watching this video to be better than me if you're not already. I want you guys to be the best in the world, top 100 players in your console, you know, playing in these Madden events. That's what I want for you guys. But, you know, this video is running kind of long. It's your boy WF from WF Madden. I'm out, guys.